hey guys, I'm gonna make another tutorial right now because you know 800 th subscribers and also like um, this was suggested to me so yeah I'm gonna show you how I created that rain as you can see here whoa what's going on okay seems like um, screen recording killed my game let's quickly let's quickly restart this um, yeah that rain as you can see here and yeah so looking quite cool have some nice little drops on the water but I won't go into that I guess let's see how far we can go so start a new blend file um, of course switch to blender game engine and also shading should be GLSL then we have to have a ground plane let's quickly add in new material new texture just so we can see something um, well let's have some kind of grass going on I guess so textured mode unwrap this real quick drag this over here come on come on little guy okay there we go um, UV image editor and yeah select a texture let's make this tile a little bit and of course what won't would we do without a sun lamp also this is not specular at all because grass normally isn't specular and some normal mapping yay but um I want to make this like really decent because otherwise it will look crazy and shitty and stuff so I guess I'll go with that yeah that's looking cool so um, also what we need now is our rain so we're gonna add images as planes and then what you have to have is some kind of rain texture um, with alpha channel um, uh, there will be one in the description and a link to it yeah, here's my texture that I'm using um, let's quickly bring this over here okay so as you can see right now that's looking really weird I guess so let's change some stuff over here first of all the rain's gonna be shadeless because we don't care about shading our rain um, next it will have transparency and then you drag the alpha all the way down on Z transparency and check this little alpha bar here and you can see it now has transparency amazing also what you can do is like move the color all the way down because we don't need the color of this texture it's just black and white as you can see and this is looking really weird um, and check use alpha and there you go actually it's looking quite nice right so what else did I do? Um, I scaled my plane, make these things look a little bit longer and make it not necessary to have that many of these uh, text particles. Also we don't need physics, we don't need shadows at all. This will be heavy on performance if we leave that activated. And also this is gonna be no collision. Then we have to, um, probably what I did was make this a little bit smaller of, an, of a part because it looked nicer than I, I thought and yeah what we have to do right now is to make it face the camera all the time and how we're gonna do that is just by making it a halo material and as you can see right now this is not working as intended so what we have to do is just rotate it along some axis and now it disappears because I don't know why it's just what I found is just rotating it along several axes 90 degrees all the time and then finding the right axis and then sometimes sooner or later yeah you get it working so now as you can see if I rotate my view the rain's always looking to the camera but um, instead of using halo which would make it uh, also from the top look like that it's not visible from there um, great well let's actually make this a little bit darker because then we can see something 
Um, so maybe not also also not use a sun lamp, but make some kind of nightish lighting, I guess. So yeah, you can change some stuff right here, mist and all that cool stuff. Okay, looking great. Let's scale this up so it fades away nicely. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. Where's where's our rain? Let's see. Are you still with me? Rain, where are you? Rain, are you still with me? Uh, let's make it all the way visible. Rain, come on. Rain, I need you. Oh god, it reset. There we have it again. Good job. Nice. I could have done that before. So, make it not that visible again. Yeah. Good, finally. So, yeah, it's already called rain, which is nice because I called that texture rain. Uh, let's move this to another layer, to a hidden layer, and let's add our first empty. Then we'll spawn our rain. So, let's move this up until it fades out in the mist. And uh, let's go to the game logic. Good. And now select the empty and add a random actuator. Just change the C to something and the frequency, I guess 15 or something, should be cool. And then we have to add object rain. So that should actually be working right now. Good, yeah, as you can see, now it's adding our rain, it's adding it above there, but the rain is not falling down as rain is supposed to be. So also this can use mist again as it's working right now. Good. So what I did to make it easy was add an always sensor to our rain with a motion and make it move down on the z-axis. Cool. Make it stay. So, check out how quickly that's falling. Looks actually kind of quite nice right now. And what you can also do is rotate this slightly, which and add some kind of um, which kind of axis would that be? Uh, y axis movement to it. So it's looking like it's it's. Uh, affected by wind a little bit so that should be fine let's check this out again so yeah you can see it raining right now that's cool also it should be way larger make it look better yeah good can even move this up way further yeah okay now it's looking pretty ugly right now but we'll fix that so with the time setting you can adjust how long the rain will be spawned into your scene because if it's going through the ground you don't actually want it to be there uh, anymore so let's check how long do we need it this depends how far up you you place your empties and be sure to prepare that before you copy all of them because otherwise you will have huge problems yeah so I think it's looking right uh, really good right now so let's go on let's add some more empties and that's actually all of it all you have to do add more empties change the seed add a new empty change the seed add a new empty and change the seed and just add lots of empties Okay, in a, some kind of circular pattern or something like that. Empties, empties, empties. And also, if you're gonna parent it to a player, um, let me quickly like get uh, my player character. Don't know if that's gonna be working um, right now. So let's see. No, 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 wrong camera. Um, this is this should be the camera. Yep. So let's copy this player in here really quick. 
hope this is working. Um, let's see. Don't need that camera. We need this camera. Yeah, okay. I can walk around. Looking cool. Yeah, actually. You can see. It's getting quite nice. So. Yeah. Now. You have done all this. Select your empties. And parent them to your player and now if you walk around the rain will always be following you isn't that great um, so let's add some more rain because more rain is always good and some more also um, add some behind him but most of them in front of him because I'll show you real quick what happens if the player is turning really fast and you don't have some behind you some rain so it's rain is in front of me if I turn real quick there's no rain but then it spawns in later so we have to have some behind him too and so let's really quickly do that duplicate you good so now if we rotate there will always be that rain there what you can do is uh, decrease the opacity of the rain also looking no it's good um, increase the opacity something like 120 or even less make it really subtle that's yeah so that's looking better I guess that's not the best way to do it and you can make it like a lot better with some adjustments but at least it's working and now you know how and yeah I hope you liked it I hope you enjoyed it uh, thanks for watching and yeah see you soon next time next video bye